Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie is it done. I remain your host, Shadow Fury333, and after that long game, let's go for a much shorter one. Or apparently shorter one. I mean, I know what the game times are, but I don't know who wins. So this is a shorter game. Let's begin. So RAR, we've seen before, goes for the heavy commander stuff. So Altier Crossing, probably should point out first. Well, okay. RAR, commander stuff. Ivan D, not someone I really see a huge amount, but they are, as far as I know, a fairly strong player. So I'm assuming it'll be pretty good. And this map, as should be obvious, is a reclaim fest. This is all about reclaim. This entire map, is just it's just a reclaim. Like you have, within your main base, easily about 2,000 metal worth of reclaim. One builder is going to be able to get enough energy to last you for probably about 5 minutes. With 3,000 metal reclaim, like your commander will be able to last for 5 minutes reclaiming this stuff. So I'm not sure why Rar is exactly going for power plants so early. Because they could just build a couple couple builders and that would be... Huh. And that would be it. Apparently the dirt... Oh yeah, that's true. They fixed the thing where stuff that jumps in the air, its velocity doesn't stop anymore when it gets killed in the air. And we just saw why. We saw what happens. The wreckage just falls to the ground. And... Okay, so both players are going shields too, to point that out, although that's pretty obvious right now. We do have a shield mirror going on. Rar being very careful to keep their bandits inside of the convict shield, and that seems to have worked out fairly well. Convict shield still at half strength, so that's that's going to work. And it did work fairly well, pushing Ivan D back, and Ivan D on the other hand is also not really going for reclaim. Neither player going heavy on reclaim. I find this extremely strange. This is an energy reclaim map. Like you never have to worry about energy on this map. Like, how much energy is even on the entire map? It's something like, okay, about 15, sixteen thousand energy on the entire map, which is like about twenty-five minutes if you have a commander around the entire map taking everything to take the entire map's worth of energy reclaim. Now that's ten build power reclaim power. If you have more than that, obviously it'll take more, it'll take less time. But still, 25 minutes on 10 build power, that's pretty good for getting a lot of energy. And an immediate switch to Thugs for RAR. So far, they have upgraded. Machine Gun, Nine Lathe. But not sure why the Thugs so early. I mean, clearly Ivan D is going for the Bandits. They're going to be building up, and the Bandits are going to be pretty effective against the Thugs. The Thugs can't really hit Bandits. So I'm assuming that they're gonna that Rar is gonna be building in their commander in this strategy as they normally do. Like a commander supported thug strategy, that's something that Rar is fairly fond of. And the commander does have machine guns, so the, the commander is entirely what's there to get rid of the bandits. And the thugs are there to get rid of everything else, I suppose. This one, Ivan D also going for thugs themselves, so at I guess Ivan D realizes, oh yeah, I'm against Rar. I might want to actually specialize in getting rid of their commander. Thug and or rogue would be a good idea. And against a thug rogue strategy, using thugs would also be a good idea. Well, it'd be an okay idea, but yeah. And Orphelius in the chat just completely insulting both Rar and Ivan D for their play, which is kind of bad form. Although, admittedly, Altier Crossing is a strangish map, but this strategy is what Rar usually does. They really like the Commander plus Thug thing. Or they like the Commander upgrade thing. Thugs are a fairly common thing. I've seen other games where they have gone for it, and now second upgrade. Their second upgrade, adding shields. Well, makes sense. If you're going to synergize with Thugs, you might as well go all the way. Shields and auto repair. So, as we saw the last time, when we saw the match between Rar and... What did it happen to? It was, it was on Alien Desert. I don't remember exactly who was playing. But it was the reason one on Alien Desert that I casted. That was... That was the same thing. It basically got into the opponent's base and then died. I, this is a strategy that... It was Adam 2, yeah. This is a strategy that you... Base, Rar basically has to win with the commander or they're out. They have very little in the back that's actually building up. Their shield bot factory is no longer building stuff. Racketeer is being built up, which is effectively the counter. I mean, the bandits can't do too much because the machine gun will stop them. And Ivan D's commander is not upgraded. 
but the racketeers if they stop the commander that's going to be a concern and that's what the dirt bags are there for as you can see they they are there to decoy out although the one thing is the way disarm works it actually it doesn't have that much splash damage not this one so it's not able to get through the shields without hitting the shields first. As you know from the stuff EMP, that means it's dealing 500 damage to the shields each because it deals one third of its damage to shields as direct damage. But right now, Rar's Commander, that would be three hits to get rid of Rar's Commander shields. Actually, three hits to get rid of any of the shields currently in play. And they synergize. So that's actually about nine hits to st stun out the commander. There are 15 Rakters being built, or just Rakters being built constantly, two so far. Who cares how many are being built? The point is there are two right now. But it'll still take about five salvos before Rar's commander is even close to getting stunned. And now at level four, third upgrade. So yeah, for those of you, those of you who have not seen 0k in a while... Ooh, area shield. Wow, okay. They're really wanting that shield. Those who haven't seen 0k in a while, commanders haven't changed a little bit. Well, actually, they've been changed a lot. But commanders now have dynamic upgrades, but they also start at level... Ooh, whoa, that's actually really dangerous. Area shield replaces personal shield, means meaning that this can get through it. The disarm can get through it, so Rar's commander is actually in a worse position now with the area shield than they were with the personal shield. Yeah, they're getting hit by the disarm. That is not what they want. And there's the problem. Had they stuck with the personal shield, it would have been fine. Would have been able to share with the thug, wouldn't have dealt that much damage, but yeah, that... That area shield looked like it was starting from zero as well, and having to ge having to generate the entire shield. Which in the middle of the opponent's base is not when you want to have that happening. Especially given that an area shield is going to take all that damage, and it looks like it does not actually block out... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem to block these anyway. It doesn't seem to block the Racketeer missiles. Personal shields do. But the area shield isn't even taking the damage. Not sure if that's because of the damage, but once again, it's getting hit by defenders everywhere. So let's see. Has enough to block it, and it does in fact block it. Okay. But yeah, that would need to be full up before it could do anything. So unfortunately, Rar's commander has been put, in a has put themselves in a position where they're now much more vulnerable to damage than they used to be. But yeah, anyway, so the commander system is now dynamic, but it also starts at level 1. So a level 4 commander in this system is similar to a level 3 commander before. So Rar's commander... I mean, Rar just needs to retreat with the commander. That's the thing. They have nowhere to really retreat to, but they need to retreat. They need to retreat and let that shield build up, because that shield's not building up. Even bringing in other thugs, good idea, will help build up that shield, but honestly, it'll probably just end up causing the thug shield to be drained faster, because there's a lot of damage coming in from all sides. The defenders, the lotus, anything... The thing is, anything getting close to this. Because the defender isn't actually hitting anything that's... I mean, hitting the lotus, I suppose. Nothing's targeting the commander. Everything's hitting the stuff around the commander and causing the shield to never really be charged. And at this point, Ivan D, they aren't, they're kind of expanding around getting an airplane plant. They're not just focusing on this battle. They're going around. Rar, on the other hand, they're building a few more units, but otherwise not really focusing on the battle. They have no apparent plans for additional factors. They have no apparent plans for different unit composition. No raiding going on to the north or south. Like They are just razor-focused on this one fight. And their commander is slowly inching forward. How many Racketeers are there right now? There's currently four in play. Although, getting new ones is proven to be a major hurdle. But still, there are four in play. I'm and D's commander is actually in a pretty good position where they could probably fairly soon if they upgrade in. I mean, they'd have to upgrade themselves, but still, because they can't really build more units. But then again, like I said, Thunderbird will be coming out of this airplane plant as soon as it's done. So as long as I and D can hold off for another half minute or so, though admittedly the factory is getting hit directly, but if they can hold off for another half minute or so, Thunderbird coming in here will get rid of the commander. It will just stop this entire fight. But their their shield factory is down. Their, the rest of their base might be down. Ivan D might actually still lose this. Stinger finishes up 
gets rid of a thug, and Rar's commander disarmed again. Kind of a last minute, last second thing almost, but still, Ivan D desperately trying to keep this stinger up because that is their best hope of getting rid of everything right now. Rakshir's doing a great job though, pushing it back. Rar did get rid of the one factory, but now we do have the air factory up, and that. Oh, not quite. Seriously? Seriously, Ivan D? That's like one second away from being done. You, A caretaker is useful, but I think... Hopefully Ivan D notices this mistake, because they shifted over a touch too early. Like, a second too early. But still, they have some breathing room. That's the important thing. Ivan D has breathing room. They don't have a build that has usually a build power to the south, but they have breathing room. Getting the caretakers up, probably going to reclaim a bunch of the stuff and then rebuild the factory. Hopefully rebuild the factory first so they have something to spend that money on, but still. Rar kind of pushed back, going for bandits, now switching up their strategy. And that... Yeah, I was right. Thunderbird going to be built up fairly soon once the factory is actually completed. And that one Thunderbird should finish off everything. Rar's commander being forced back. Ivan D still in a somewhat advantageous situation, though Rar with the bandits now doing that harassment, now getting that going. Should be harassing down from here. Should be able to get rid of the Racketeers. They get rid of the Racketeers, that's Rar's game, and there's no defenses, no support. The Stinger is the only support, and the Stinger is out of range of one of them, not both of them. This one here is protected by the Stinger. The Stinger just at the edge, though. One of the Racketeers will be vulnerable. Rar not focusing on that, though. What are they focusing on? Focusing on their economy right now. Okay. Not the best time that bandit would... Okay, do they even know? I don't think they know. They do know! They actually know full well, apparently, that... Well, for some reason the radar's not showing up, but yeah, they apparently know full well, according to the minimap at least, that there are racketeers here. I mean, if they don't know because of the minimap, they know because of... Well, the racketeers are firing. Missiles are coming from the north. There's no support, though. But the bandit not being pushed in... Bands in the main base not doing much. Here's the harassment to the south. Where's that Thunderbird? First Thunderbird is up. Should be able to get rid of the commander, although the commander right now is kind of a non-issue. The commander's been forced back. Like, Rar has basically been forced to stay out of this. Their shields are apparently... Com oh, not quite completely charged yet. But that's the other use of the Thunderbird, is that it's not just... Not just the commander. It's everything, including raiding forces like this. I just don't understand why this bandit is not being used to get rid of the Racketeer, and as a result, open this area up again. Because there's no more Racketeers coming in, the Thunderbird's the only threat. And these defenders are going to be a problem for the Thunderbird. Assuming the Racketeers are dead. And there's three of them. Two of which are vulnerable. Super vulnerable. The commander being used instead to deal with them. No, not even. Not even getting close. They will deal with the commander, though. That's the important thing. And Thunderbird hitting these... Well, actually, that was right. You're hitting that. But yeah, the commander... Thunderbird hitting this. There we go. Getting rid of the more of the bandits. I just don't understand why Rar is not dealing with this. Because that's causing them loads of pain. Okay, now they're dealing with it. There we go. Just took far longer than I thought. This bandit has been here for several minutes. And that would have been enough. Like, that would have been enough that... I might not even even noticed, because that band is slightly out of range, out of radar range. Not that Rar probably cares or knows, but still. One bandit wouldn't have been seen as, as big of a threat, most likely, compared to this entire army. The Rar is going, oh, shoot! Army! Whereas now it's, oh, well, just move in slightly, because there's a giant army. Rather than, oh, one unit. No need to worry about that. Or maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they would have. But at least would have pushed these Rakters out of position, if nothing else. But... That's the way it goes. Rar did not go for that. And that's still some harassment happening, but Ivan D with the Life Eagle Factory with Wolverines. Bunkering down a caretaker, apparently. Interesting. But yeah, at this point, next Thunderbird that rushes in here, I mean, once the Wolverines... I'm not even sure why Wolverines, honestly. Why not just Scorchers? I mean, Wolverines to get rid of the defenses, I suppose, but between the Thunderbirds? Thunderbird Scorcher would do awesome in this situation. And just Thunderbird out all the defenses... And then scorch her in, destroy the commander. That's Rar's game plan. Like their game plan is pretty much entirely focused the commander. And that's kind of what I meant by defenders cause problems. Well, cause problems, I suppose. Now with the Wolverine's out, that should be a bit better. And Ivan D. Oh, throws in the towel. Rar actually takes this. Rar Ivan D. figures there's no way out, which 
I kind of disagree with. I think they have enough reclaim they can work with, but still, that's game. Feeling too much pressure, and Ivan D throws in the towel. So Rar manages to make that work. Okay. Rar's games are interesting just because of them pretty uniquely being enamored with the commanders. Like they love commanders. I mentioned before they actually have a mo or a game for Spring Engine called Metal. I think it's Metal Fatigue, which is entirely about commanders. I can't say I'm terribly surprised about the way that that's going because, well, that's their thing. That Their thing is commanders. But yeah, I still think that Ivan D had a game. I still think they had a chance. They still could have played that out. But I suppose losing the two Thunderbirds was the big problem. Like They lost that. That's a lot of money. There's still more defenders, more defenses. They saw the sheer scope of the defenses that RAR had made up. They didn't really have enough to deal with that. I don't know if the Wolverines are really the best idea. Honestly, against this this setup of defenses, I would have figured go for half a dozen Ravagers and just plow through them. Like, yeah, you're not going to be able to do it safely and you might lose a Ravager or two, but against this level of defenses, there's one Stinger, okay, sure. But otherwise, the defenders would just fall like paper. Even the Lotuses wouldn't be lasting that long. But anyway... And Orphelius agrees with me, and apparently he's very surprised that I'm actually correct about something. Yes, sometimes I call things. It only took me three years, but I did it. I called something correctly. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and have a good night, everyone.